um, I often asked uh, how I got into poetry. And really it was a sort of result of having had a team of teachers um, during my college years and um, at the University of Virginia uh, for my master's. And so I'm going to name three people. Um, there are three qualities involved that helped me. Uh, one, oddly, is intimidation that turned into respect. Um, another is a teacher's, uh, that was um, John Allen at Hollins College. Uh, another teacher, also at Hollins, Louis Rubin, had the most amazing ability to uh, confirm for young women that they had ability and ambition and worth and value. So there's that sense of um, commitment, not commitment, but confirmation. And then the third teacher was George Garrett at the University of Virginia who helped me understand how I could be a better writer. So let me tell you how the, the story quickly from uh, about intimidation is that I got on campus having, as a freshman having signed up for what I thought was a literature course. Turned out it was creative writing. I thought, I don't want to do this. So I went to see my advisor, John Allen. His desk was way up and the light shone on him. My desk in the tiny little uh, office was way down and I was in the dark. There was a light on his desk. It shone on his face and flashed off his glasses and flashed off his bald head. And so out of this mountain of light, from my little corner in the low darkness, a voice boomed out, I'm delighted you're in my creative writing course. And so I said, well, yes, of course. Sheerly intimidated, but also respecting this guy and sort of glad that he made me do something I didn't want to do. Louis Rubin, we had workshops at his house in the advanced courses and I took creative writing every semester all the way through Holland's. There was an incredible, not intimacy so much, but sense of friendship and support um, in those workshops. Absolutely unswerving devotion to being honest about the quality of your work and really focusing on how you could make it better, focusing on revision. But at the end of the, my years there at Hollands, Lewis, um, who had a letterpress at home, um, published a small chapbook of my work. So I went off to graduate school thinking for myself as, wow, I can really do this. I'm already kind of, maybe, an author. At UVA, I had George Garrett for one semester, and um, he was just a ball of energy, very energetic, and also very, very good teacher. For him, meeting with him one-on-one -on -one in his office, sometimes those meetings would go on for a couple of hours. There was a kind of unstinting generosity to um, his being available. So I said to him one time, um, okay, George, uh, how do I become a poet? And he said, you already are a poet. You're just not a very good one. <laughs> so I said, but he said, but you can be. And he said, you make this commitment. And your commitment is this. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Remember, I was 20 years old. You're going to give it everything you've got until you're 30 or your first book comes out. And if you're 30 and your first book hasn't come out, you can quit if you want to. And I burst out laughing because I knew that was impossible. Anything you give yourself to completely, you become. And so when I was 30 and didn't have my first book out yet, I kept writing and I had one coming, came out in and when I was 31. But those teachers seem to be always, the knack of saying the right thing at the right time to a student who's maybe only momentarily, not chronically, but even momentarily unsure of herself or himself is a quality in all these teachers that I feel extraordinarily grateful for.